Hi, no squared again. I would like to demonstrate how flexible the GW2 framework theory is right now. If your actors want to be bounded to the grid, then they can be. However, they don't have to be. In fact, your actors can move however they like. If you would like to use physics, then feel free. You could use the world, the grid-based world, simply as a spatial acceleration structure to quickly query for neighbors in a neighborhood. For example, here we have a steering package. Now in this steering package I have a steering runner which overrides, well extends the base runner just like usual. Note that it doesn't extend bug runner because it's not one of the usual bug runners. We have get spawnable actors and it can spawn steering that follower and steering that buddy. It has a leader, leaders right here. It prepares, creates a new leader, adds it to the world and it says follower that current target equals leader. This is a static variable because currently there is no way of specifying a local variable in a class as a parameter when you call a function inside the application. Perhaps in a future revision there will be but for now there isn't. So we simply use a static variable such that when we create a follower it automatically follows our leader. Then we create 10 more followers each with the target target which is our leader and we add them to the world. On tick every frame we override tick and we say movement equals zero. Now if you press W, then we move up, S down, A left, and D right. And we say leader that add to vel, meaning add to velocity, the movement multiplied by delta time times five. Meaning every frame every frame will add five or well not necessarily every frame, every second will add five units to the velocity of the leader. This creates a very smooth natural type of motion especially since this simulation is mostly physics based here we have key pressed we were we would we over I overrided something before but this is just some testing code so I commented it out now let's run this All right, here we have notice we have a grid but the actors don't necessarily stay on the grid we can move using WASD Notice the leader bug moves according to my keys, and the smaller bugs simply follow the leader bug. This is a leader, and these are followers. Notice we have two followers on the same grid point. In this application, the grid is simply used as a very fast spatial acceleration structure, which you could use to query for certain actors in a specific spot or you could create a neighborhood by using a loop and starting at x equals negative radius y equals negative radius and moving up until x equals radius and y equals radius in order to query for a square now if you were to create for example another follower it automatically joins the group and aligns with it these followers exhibit these followers exhibit following behavior which is implemented in terms of arrive. They also exhibit separation behavior which is why they stay separated from each other instead of clumping into a single spot. Now another possible bug is a buddy. These buddies exhibit cohesion behavior as well as sep separation meaning once we create two of them they stick together but they still don't clump into a single spot. We can create as many of them as, they, as we want and they'll all stick together. Now, let's go back to our original group over here. Let's move this group towards the buddies slowly. And then let's create a follower over here. Now, if things work out as they should, these buddies shouldn't see the follower. And with the follower, they will try to follow that follower in order to stay together. But the follower won't care about the buddies. They'll try to stay with the group over here. So essentially, these buddies should end up with this group if they follow the follower. Let's try that. Yep, the follower gets there. It goes find these guys. And the buddies, they clump. And now it's there with the group. The red guys exhibit path. The red guys exhibit following behavior, whereas the green guys simply exhibit cohesion. They don't follow the leader, they simply stay with the group. These are some very simple behaviors, but they, sim but they demonstrate the, 
the flexibility of the GW2 framework. We still use the same, the same code, the same grid code, the same everything, but we just implemented something that's completely not grid based. Thanks for watching this video and stay tuned.